Hello, welcome day 41 of Bifford the Blog, and it is Tuesday again, so the start of another working week for me. Here's Heidi gone to Nana's this morning. I think she really enjoys seeing Nana. She hasn't seen her for a week because she's obviously it's Louise's mum, sorry, I should say, because <laughs> she was staying up with Louise. Uh, Heidi didn't get to see her for about a week and a half now. Um, so I think she was looking forward to that. Very misty morning this morning and cold. <laughs> So very much like our situation, I'm hoping the mist will clear up today really and we're just hoping that ENT can come down and have a look at Noah and see if they can sort out the issues regarding his strider and if there's a way forward in terms of any treatments or maybe even an operation of sorts. Uh, they mentioned the laser treatment yesterday. To me that seems the most obvious but again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Um, hopefully they'll be able to give Louise the best amount of information. I think as far as I know he's had quite a settled night and uh, yeah and I guess it's the thing is that he tends to have these settled nights and then suddenly gets unsettled. I would say however though over the weekend it was definitely happening more often and seemed to be working harder to deal with it. It could just be a case that as he's having it more often, it's getting more inflamed, etc. And so on, vicious circle like everything else that's going on. Has been another difficult day. Noah's very unsettled with his breathing again this morning. I tried everything possible for three hours. Eventually lost my composure and cool a little bit with the nurses and doctors. So they came and moved his high flow up and um, gave him some more sedative. After such a long time waiting, they came down and put a camera down his nose to have a look at his vocal cords again. The left one was paralysed as we already knew from the MLB but there's also not much movement in the right one. So this guy from ENT was going to speak to Mr Saunders, um, arrange an MRI to see if, if this vocal cord palsy is linked to his Arnold Chiari. Um, if so then things like a shunt might help make the vocal cords move more freer. Laser treatment might be an option but now it looks like he's got both vocal cords not working properly it increases his chance of needing a tracheostomy which as you all know was one of our biggest fears we would have really liked to have avoided one of them. So the plan is to do an MRI possibly another MLB which is the camera down the throat to have a look and confirm what's going on and then they'll make a plan of action from there if he's unsettled again after night, they shall have to intubate him. Um, or if he is really unsettled, then they'll not bother doing the investigations. They'll just get him rushed in and fit a tracky. Uh, it has been an emotional day. Um, like I say, I actually, I actually cried up on the ward after seeing him struggle for three hours for the last three days. And it gets a bit much. It gets a bit hard to see your son quite evidently struggling and you can't do anything to make it better and it almost feels like you have to convince everybody else that they should be doing something but we got there in the end. Okay so just finishing up now uh, heading back to try and get on with a few other things. It's actually 4.30 so I'm running later than planned. Um, probably won't get the shopping done before I go and get Heidi. I've got somewhere else to go first. Um, so today's news has been a bit of a setback and I wouldn't say it's been the best of days in terms of Noah's condition. I mean it's great that they've come up and seen him um, but the news isn't quite what we had hoped. It would be a big shame to sort of see Noah on a trackie um, and that's not that's not meant in a bad way it's just it would mean a lot of things and an extra it's quite a big move should we say. I mean, they haven't said that's going to happen, but um, even the thought that he might need an emergency one just to keep him happy whilst he's there for the next few days, 
Um, so we're really just hoping that uh, for the next few days he can just be settled. It's a shame we've had to really, or Louise has had to push him so hard to get anything from them. And it's a shame that we've had to push him to get ENT involved again. But uh, we seem to be making a, bit, a, a little bit of progress. All by maybe perhaps in the way we didn't want it to. Um, but it needs to be resolved if we ever want to get home. So, as is life. just come back for the night now. It's been a very long day, but um, they've given Noah some more of the sedative. He's nice and relaxed, got a lid on his cot, so hopefully he'll have a restful night's sleep. And fingers crossed we'll get a plan of action together tomorrow.